I'm Representative David Litvak, Minority Leader of the Utah House of Representatives. On behalf of our Democratic Caucus, I commend Governor Herbert in his efforts to lead our state efficiently and thoughtfully. Tonight, we respond with a Democratic perspective. First, the House Democrats pledge to meet Utah's unique challenges with common sense solutions. Our full focus will be on Utah's needs. House Democrats will stay fixed on the pressing matters that affect working families, many of whom struggle to pay their mortgage, to buy health insurance, and to put food on the table. This state's greatest asset is its people. And like any asset, our people require attention and investment. Every discussion we have at the legislature, every decision we make, should come down to investing in human capital. When we wisely fund all day kindergarten, we start the process of building a person who can give back to our economy, to our community, and to this great state and nation. When we judiciously plan our future, we know we must support programs that foster independence for people with disabilities. We honor policies that strengthen families and protect children from harm and neglect. We invest this way because it is responsible and fiscally sound. Also, it is the humane, compassionate, and right thing to do. The House Democrats believe government's role is to act responsibly with your tax dollars. A balanced budget is not just an option, it is our constitutional mandate. But we will not ignore today's needs. Democrats will work to ensure struggling families have access to affordable health care. We must ensure that Medicaid, where two-thirds of recipients are children, runs efficiently. But we must take care not to weaken this lifeline for the most vulnerable among us. We believe in investing wisely for the future. We must understand that education is the critical economic issue in our state. We will vigorously fight any effort to slash public or higher education budgets. No company can survive by denying research and development or money for new capital. The same applies to our neighborhood schools. It is time we see our children and the skills they need to succeed in life as our greatest economic investment. Now I turn to my colleague, State Senator Ross Romero, who will discuss further common sense plans from Democrats. Good evening. I'm Senator Ross Romero, Minority Leader of the Utah Senate. Tonight, I can tell you that Senate Democrats are committed to looking beyond ideology and to making Utah work for everyone. We will not be sidetracked by politically motivated message bills or efforts to take on the federal government. These actions waste precious times and expose the state to potential lawsuits. We believe Utah deserves the best schools in the nation. We support adequate funding to strengthen student achievement and to attract and retain the best teachers. We believe it is imperative that every child read at his or her grade level by the end of the third grade. As the state and nation recover from the worst economic struggle since the Great Depression, we support legislation that promotes working families. We want to close loopholes that give some employers unfair tax breaks by inaccurately classifying their employees. This practice has allowed employers to avoid providing workplace benefits like workers' compensation. In Utah, unfortunately, con artists often find it easy to bilk their trusting friends and neighbors. The FBI is currently investigating financial fraud in Utah totaling $1.4 billion. The prevalence of fraud carries heavy costs. It harms families and destroys livelihoods. Determined to provide some relief, Senate Democrats support legislation that cracks down on fraud, including a bill that rewards informants who report scams. This measure could save the state up to a half a million dollars a year. Finally, we recognize the division within our state over illegal immigration. Along with our House colleagues, we support the Utah Compact, a declaration outlining a humane and reasonable approach toward immigration reform. A broad base of civic and faith-based groups support the Utah Compact. Thank you, and now some final words from Representative Litvak. I'd like to close with the pledge. Democrats will work respectfully with all of our colleagues. Our dialogue will be civil and our debate productive. Thank you, and good night.